welcome everyone to a very special, very early, very early version of the Hubers Game stream. Uh, it's Nameless King time. Legend in the chat, thank you. Okay, full disclosure, not gonna lie. I watched a video yesterday on how to defeat this guy. It probably won't make a hill of beans difference. <laughs> but I did watch a video. Alright, let's get comfy. Let's get comfy for the long haul, because this is gonna be a long haul. <laughs> okay. Also, I got the DLC. I downloaded the DLC because I was like, I love this game and I want to play more of it. And if I cannot beat Nameless King, then we're going to do some DLC and uh, maybe come back later when we're stronger. I don't know. I don't even know. Anyway, uh, it's 6.43 a.m. right now. So I might be a little quieter than normal. But that's okay. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. that I don't see very often. Wasn't really ready for that. Do it again. Those uh, those short range swipey moves, he doesn't do those very often. Especially the, the really fast thrust move. That one, it's a really rare move, at least in my experience. What up, Dragon Boy? Lightning. find some embers. Might be worth it to uh, use a couple just as a precaution or a exercise, an exercise to try to live a little bit longer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to ember immediately after killing the dragon. Let's see how that goes.
how I'm not dead, I don't know. Oh, come on, hit the freaking thing. Tell me that kills it. Yes. Okay, embering. Visceral. It's not that good though. So that was pretty good. Um, something I'm doing now that I was not doing before is I'm dodging to his left instead of his right. So for whatever reason, when I was fighting, uh, I think it was Gundir, Champion Gundir, if I would dodge to his right, the, the side that he had his weapon, I was safer. But it appears it's safer if you dodge to this guy's left even though he's holding the weapon in his right hand. That's a cool move. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop swinging. One hit, come on. Give me the stagger, man. I was early, but I did not get punished. There's the stagger. Oh, give me that follow-up. Got it. Okay, we're gonna ember. Early. Oh man. Shit. No, dude. Shit. Follow up. Heal. Oh, fuck. Somehow my game cap got moved over to the right. I suppose I could lock it. I could lock it so it doesn't... There we go. I can't actually move it. That sucked! Give me a good clean attempt, man. Ten minutes. It's only been ten minutes. Oh my god. This is torture. 
was that? Four attempts in ten minutes? One of them didn't count, because I died immediately. Lock on, Jesus Christ. That was early, but I did not get punished. What? Come on. I never get hit by that. It's a fucking game, man. I'm inside the net. Okay. Fire. Come on. Fire? That's the one I gotta watch out for. Yeah, well. Immediately. Uh oh. Really? Never seen that before. Okay. Follow up. And aggressive. Look at this aggression. This is impossible. Like never even time to fucking heal. Can I have a moment, please? Talk about Jesus Christ. Shit. Get off. Well, we've wasted uh, three embers now. I'm willing to waste one more. I'm willing to waste one more. Do it again. How many do I have? 13. Ah, man. I'm telling you, the video that I watched on the internet, he was not that aggressive. So, I have a theory about this game. My theory is that every time you die, the world gets a reroll. The entire the entire game gets a reroll. Or maybe maybe some enemies get rerolled. But not all, you know? And what I mean by reroll is. Like, the computer randomly assigns an aggression level? I think. I don't know. I have no proof of this. It's just my experience. Shit. Shit. And I think I'm seeing, like, mega aggression going on. Get me on the follow-up. Got it. Next phase, we ember. Look at this guy. Fucking bullshit. He sees me go to ember and he like does a move that he rarely does. Come on. Swoop. So that time I died because the game hung up for like a second. 
The game completely hung, and I couldn't see what was happening, and I died. <sighs> That's enough of that. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to the cleansing chapel. I feel like I'm getting better at this fight. I'm just... It's either one thing or another that kind of fucks it up. It's the... <sighs> It's some Never weird move he pulls out of nowhere. Who it's no place to call their Hi. Wait, kill the sting. Yes, the firekeeper. Yes, I will do it. Alright, DLC time. That most recent attempt, I got screwed over by the game hanging up for like a second. Which is insane to me. This is an old game, and I'm running fucking 6700 XT. Like, why would the game ever hang? I don't... Whatever. The Painted World of Ariando. So this is DLC number one, and, uh... It's so stupid. This is so stupid. Like, they've perfectly designed a game where... Once you get to this point, you, you don't. Why would I even fight any of these enemies? I'm just gonna run. The, the amount of souls you're gonna get for these enemies is nil compared to the difficulty. Which okay, and, and I don't dislike. I don't dislike the way that they designed this game. I kind of love it, but it is a little ridiculous. Um, you just run. Like, you run through most of these areas. These wolves are... It doesn't really make sense for you to fight anything when you're this high level. The only thing you really want to do is fight bosses. We're rolling. We're running. So, main goal number one is to just get to the first bonfire. And the wolves do follow you, but... Where's that first box? It's like right over here, is it not? A little further? Right down here. Inside this cave. We made it. I think it's a fascinating way to design a game because it's backwards. It's backwards to everything you know and think about when you play games. In all the previous games, it was like, you fight everything on your way to the boss, and then you beat, defeat the boss. But in these games, it's like, at a certain point, it doesn't make sense to do that. Save your resources for the insanity. Alright, how many souls do I get for these guys? 200. See, that's nothing. It's not even worth killing. Them. Hi, buddy! Well, you well, need to be unkindled. No I bell told. Uh, if not. Yeah. Go in there and talk to her and be nice, is what he said. Don't be a jerk. Hey, lady. And she basically says, why are you here? Go away. Because you shouldn't be here. Leave. Welcome. I am Frida. Frida. Oh, yeah. I have long stood beside our blessed father, but forlorn, thou's ashen one, but re I am meek and... F yeah, 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 she says, leave me alone. Um, so Lady Frida is the final boss of this DLC, her and her father. And that, I've, I've never finished that fight either. I've gotten almost, I've almost killed her on several occasions. And just never could close it out. She's fast, she has a lot of moves. You have to defeat her father first, and they're both there fighting you. Like she's, he's got a big old pot, and he's like trying to smash you with it. Now we're gonna go to Nasty Town. I hear it. I hear it. There's a crystal lizard, but I don't see it. Also, these guys right here, they think they're funny. But uh, it doesn't even matter what that item is. I don't want it. I don't even know what it is, and I don't care. 
Oh, there it is. Hi. Give me the spoil. Bling, bling. Large. Right, right, right. You you have access to this DLC area as soon as you get to the church. Okay, okay. All right, you have moves. Okay, so do I. Are you kidding me? Games, man. This is how these games go, bro. Also, I'm taking increased damage on purpose. Let me show you why. I'm wearing the Karthus. I'm sorry, I'm wearing the Karthus Blood Ring. It boosts rolling invincibility, but it lowers your defense. Uh, so, how, by how much? What happens when I take that? I don't know why it lowers your defense. It does not appear immediately apparent why, but it does. And there's a bunch of half, half dead streamers. None of it matters. The only one we have to watch out for is uh, this one. Right here. This is the one we have to watch out for. And I'm actually gonna fight him, even though I could completely run away. Just to display my dominance. Or my stupidity. Either one. Stupidity. Couple more hits. He says also, a couple more hits. Oh, dude, come on. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, she told me to go home. I said, go home. She said, what are you doing here? You need to leave. <laughs> Crow's boy, crow boys are terrifying? Yeah, freaky. Freaky boy. This is fascinating game design. Because, like, I'm way over-leveled for this area. Over-leveled? Like... Ridiculously over leveled, and yet the game can still get you. Like, that's the point of Dark Souls games. You are never over leveled. It's brilliant. I don't even know how they do it. But, like, everything else, I guess, scales with you along the way. If you are never invincible, you are always killable. So, I got a PS5 from my buddy. He was able to get one um, off of Best Buy. So I bought it from him. And I've been playing through Demon's Souls, which I had yet never uh, had any experience with. And I really like it. Um, I hated the first four or five hours. I hated it. I was like, I don't understand this game at all. Because I didn't. Uh, so this guy has already shown that he he's got skills and I don't give a fuck. So I'm just going to run away. I've killed plenty of those enemies before. I don't need to kill one right now to prove that I'm a gamer. <laughs> This guy. I killed this guy the first time I saw him because I didn't realize he was friendly. Oh. Well, there is nothing forlorn about you. Ew. You must be the other Ash. The I other see. Ash? I am. Oh, oh wondrous Ash. Grant us our wish. Make, Make the, the tales burn this world away. Must see flame. 
You are back. My lady must see flame. Ew, she is. She needs to die. All right, first bonfire is right here. Or I guess first bonfire in this area. Go ahead and diagro knife boy just in case because you just never know when knife boy could be lurking and we're at 25 minutes this is pretty good let's let's go ahead and take a quick break uh, for everybody's favorite if you're watching on YouTube thank you so much I hope you're having a great time we do this at twitch.tv slash in your hubris uh, not usually at seven o'clock in the morning but it's an unusual day so uh, <laughs> um, Monday Tuesdays and Fridays are typically the stream days um, playing through Dark Souls 3 right now. I will pick back up on Will of the Wisps at some point. I got to the end and accidentally finished the game early, and then I went back and got a bunch of extra stuff. And so really all I need to do now is just beat it again, I guess. Uh, finish finish the Shriek again. At any rate, uh, we have a good time over there. <coughs> Catch us over there, won't you? And we'll see you on the next one.